hello my dear friend welcome back once again to the another presentation of conversion of uh, one value of physical quantity from one system of unit to another system uh, this is the third use of uh, dimensional equation and here our question is to convert one joule into arg let me tell you my dear friend joule as well as arg both are the unit of walk all right both represents walk and uh, joule is in the mks system of unit while arg is in the CGS system of unit okay and uh, to convert we should know first very well the dimension of work m l square t minus 2 and if you don't know you have the trick you know I al already given you uh, write the unit or or write the formula so that's force times displacement force is m l t minus 2 and displacement is one length so the dimension formula is getting m l square t minus 2 all right so <clears throat> this is what and now we need to convert one joule into I don't know how much but arg alright so here this is our n1 and this is our u1 this is our n2 and this is our u2 okay hmm we need to find out uh, n2 now so to find out n2 we have a very simple formula n1 times u1 over u2 alright and here here what is n1 what is uh, these all let's write all right here our n1 is you know uh, 1 and n2 we don't know and units of work involves the uh, the physical quantities of mass length as well as time so uh, we need to write m1 all right m2 similarly we need to write uh, l1 l2 t1 and t2 so n1 as i told you it is mk system so in mk system mass is measured in in, in kilogram all right and in CJ system uh, mass is measured in gram all right so it is one gram similarly in MK system length is measured in uh, meter all right while in CJ system length is measured in centimeter and similarly if you go about the time then in uh, MK system time is measured in second and similarly uh, in in CGS also uh, time is measured in second so our formula is here you know n2 equals to n1 u1 over u2 and if you if you have uh, watched the previous video then there i had given you a even wonderful formula for this i had given you n1 times m1 over m2 to the power x similarly l1 over l2 to the power y similarly t1 over t2 to the power z so let's put all the values and 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 get the solution of uh, n and 2 all right and that's n1 n1 as you know that's one joule m1 as i told you that's one kz all right divided by m2 that's one gram and the power is x so power of x means power of mass so what is the dimension of mass that's one so that's one here similarly l1 l1 is here one meter and l2 that's one centimeter and power y it means uh, what is the power of length that's two and t1 over t2 time is one second here also and one second here also both have the power of two okay so let's solve it uh one no problem no we don't have to write this one one kz that's 1000 gram so that we can cancel this you know uh, numerator and denominator properly and this is uh, one gram is having the power one similarly one meter that's 100 centimeter and again one centimeter is having power and this one second that's one to the power two that doesn't matter gram gram cancel centimeter centimeter cancel and you'll get 1000 times now 100 uh, square that's 100 uh, times 100 so we're getting the value of n2 as 1000 times uh, 100 100 that's 10 to the power 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 all right 10 to the power 7 so we get our n2 as a 10 to the power 7 wow wonderful news my dear friend our n1 u1 was one joule and our n2 u2 is now what is that n2 we get 10 to the power 7 and u2 was arg so what i can say that one joule is equivalent to 10 to the power 7 arg all right and that's the solution that's the conversion we did using the dimensional equation i hope you understand it and if there is any more confusion or doubt to ask me then please feel free to comment below this video and you're gonna you're gonna ask so many questions similar to this you need to convert you know one system of unit into the another system 
so uh, uh, this is a little little difficult than the other uses of uh, dimension uh, equations uh, I'm gonna do a couple of more problems of this all right and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video into the fourth use of dimension where uh, we're gonna find the dimension of constant uh, uh, constant in a given physical equation you know in a, in a physical relation if there is some constant and you want to find out the dimensions of that then again dimension equations helps us all right so see you in the next video bye bye